Okay, so this problem is says point A is located on the number line below, and you're probably thinking, wait a second, Negron, you already wrote down the answer to part A. I did, that's because most people got part A right. That is not the point of this video. Uh, but just to be clear, whenever you see a number line, you circle and you count the number of jumps. I got it to be 10 jumps, so my denominator is 10. That's important because we are now moving down to part C. And part C says, what number would be one and a half less than point A? And if you remember what I just said, in, in the number line, the denominator was 10. So I need to make one and a half out of 10. There's two ways to do that. First, I could crank this, which would give me three over two. Okay, so please make sure you copy that down. And then, sorry, this looks ugly, but what would the numerator be? Let me zoom in so y'all can see. One and a half is three over two. I want it to speak tenths. What would this numerator be to make these fractions equivalent? On the count of three, call it out. One, two, three. If you said 15, you would be right. Okay? And you're like, wait, why are you making a speak tenths? Because all we're going to do now is go 15 tenths less than point A. So sorry this is a little fuzzy, but watch what I do. 15 tenths. So I'm gonna go back up to my number line, all the way up here. Here is point A. I'm gonna go 15 tenths to the left. So watch me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. That is my answer. That is negative one and a half or one and a half less than point A because that's the same as 15 tenths. All you need to do now is figure out what that point is, but that's simple because that's negative 10 tenths, 11 tenths, 12 tenths, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This point is negative 19 tenths or negative one and nine tenths. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move down again to put the correct answer down here. The answer is supposed to be negative one and nine tenths. And one more time, the reason why this problem is tricky is because this does not speak the same language as the number line. So make it speak the same language. If it says less than, go to the left. It said more than go to the right. This is the correct answer, and that's the only part of what we're going to go over for this problem.